Hey guys, so I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked up at Trader Joe's today. Got a pretty decent sized haul. For breakfast, I got the vanilla almond granola cereal. We're a big fan, so I picked up two so I could fill up my cereal tub. And you can throw that on top of some yogurt. You can have it with some milk. Um, I think I'm going to make a um, couple of yogurt bowls, so I'll top it with that and then some fruit that I have. And next is my EVOO. You know, inexpensive, does the trick, pretty tasty. Um, I think it's fruity. It's pretty smooth. I don't mind the taste. and It's like less than eight bucks. And it's a pretty big bottle gonna be trying out the green dragon hot sauce I feel like people see they really like this and I even heard someone say it replaced their sriracha so that's interesting because I'm a big fan of sriracha got some gyoza dipping sauce because I picked up some pot stickers looking forward to trying this honey mango shaving cream hope it smells good um Restocking on my onion salt and my everything but the bagel seasoning. This down here. Oh my gosh, yes. Sea salt and turbinado sugar, dark chocolate almonds. So good. So good. Picked up some lavash. So I might do half a lavash and then these are really green right now. But I got a bunch of little avocados. Do half a lavash put my avocado on there and then put my everything but the bagel seasoning on there. Delicious. Um, I'm going to try this bacon cheddar ranch dip. I mean, seems keto-ish, so we're going to give it a go. Got some chunky guac, guilt-free. You know, they whip some Greek yogurt into there. Uh, it makes it nice and creamy and delish. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite tortillas. Um, I'm a big fan of El Milagro tortillas, but they're located out in Chicago. And so I live on the West Coast now. It's a bit of a bummer to not find my favorites, but these are like an exact dupe and they're so good. I have two tortillas and it's 100 calories, which is awesome. Um, soy chorizo. This is delicious. I feel like the seasoning that they use makes it so flavorful. It's even better than um, like the pork and the beef chorizos that they make. And you can fry this up as is, maybe with a little onion. Um, or you can saute um, some small diced potatoes or sweet potatoes. And then throw this up and get it all nice and caramelized together. And then make a taco out of that. So, so good. Um, picked up some sausages. I love these. They're like four bucks a pack or less than that. So like each sausage is like a dollar. You can chop it up, throw it in some marinara, put it on top of pasta, um, chop it up and throw in some broccoli raw, baby brock in there, and that's really tasty. You can do sausage and peppers, and just fry up your pepper and onion mix, and then throw in your sausage, and put it in a bun, or however you eat it. Really, really good. Um, picked up some of the Argentinian red shrimp. Look at how big and beautiful these shrimpies are. Delish. So I tee those up. I make some shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos are life. So that's going to be tasty. Picked up a couple of these. I like to have a couple of bags in the freezer. You can make wonton soup out of it. You can eat it as is. And again, I got my little gyoza over there. So that's going to be tasty. Mango chunks. I love mango. It's my favorite fruit. So I can take that granola and some yogurt and then... Just put some of my mango chunks in there, or I can make a smoothie, whatever I want to do. Asian chicken sausage. 
I guess they use like, I don't know, it's a red, probably has like beet powder or something in there. And let's see. Mm, it doesn't really say. Oh, it just is like Asian seasonings, whatever that means. So I don't know, like anise or ginger or something, something delicious. But I'm just going to fry this up and make some brown rice. Maybe chop up some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes next to it and call it a day. That's going to be tasty. These are so good. They're seasoned so well and they actually plump up to a really nice size. Just make a patty and put it over a bed of like spring mix. And, um, you know, you can do a salmon soir if you wanted to. You can do your haricot vert, which is like your French green beans and maybe some Kalamata olives and your patty and whatever else I'm missing um, that goes in a Niswa salad. To me, like the most important part of Niswa is the olives. That's, that's it. Um, but a bunch of the sweet potato gnocchi. I love, love, love to have these in the freezer. They're really a nice, quick go-to for dinner when you're looking for like your carb side. These are great. Probably going to chop up some chicken sausages and do some sweet potato gnocchi too. And it's, you know, brown butter sauce, sage. So the chicken goes nicely with that. And, you know, that's about it. That's the menu for this week. I mean, I'll probably survive a week and a half off of all of this stuff. Okay, that's the haul. Thank you. Enjoy.